father? Son. I think I'll go to the funeral, too. You? Why? Well, for Pilar, of course. <laughs> oh, come off it, Julian. Yes, I know about your generous attempt to save Pilar some grief by ordering her husband's body cremated. Well, why put her through the torture of seeing the fellow in a casket? You didn't even ask Pilar or her family how they felt about it. You just wanted the body gone. The question is, why? Hmm. You want that body gone ASAP. And the reason is, it's not the real Martin Fitzgerald, is it? Of course it's Martin. <clears throat> Didn't Pilar examine the body, find that scar behind his ear? She said she was the only one who even knew he had it. Hmm. Frankly, I think she should have recognized him with or without the scar. In a room full of naked women, I'd know your body blindfolded. Oh. We're discussing Martin Fitzgerald's body, not mine. Ooh, that's a pity. Your body's a much more interesting subject. <laughs> and off limits to you. Now quit changing the subject. All right, I admit it. I want to follow the body from the church to the crematorium. I want to see the body burned. I'll even provide the matches. Then I'll come home and have a martini in a Martin Fitzgerald free environment, now and forever. Amen. Good morning. Oh, Gwen, you look lovely as usual, even in somber black. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to the funeral with Ethan. Are you? Uh, yes, but you didn't know Martin Fitzgerald, and you're hardly close to the Lopez Fitzgeralds. I am going today because my entire future with Ethan depends on what happens. <sighs> Gwen, what could possibly happen at the funeral today that would affect your future with Ethan? It's a long story, Ivy. I don't want to bore you with it right now. But if things go as I expect, Ethan and I should be announcing our wedding plans. Oh, Gwen, that <laughs> is wonderful. Yeah, I hope you weren't upset when you saw Teresa in Ethan's arms at midnight on New Year's Eve. Well, I was. I, then I realized he was just comforting Teresa. I, mean, I know I must have seemed really insecure about Ethan lately, but Sheridan helped me realize that Ethan loves me and that's all that matters. Oh, well, of course he loves you and nothing will make me happier than to see you two marry right away. Well, thank you. And, and as I said, if things go as I expect, Ethan and I will be announcing our wedding date. Depends upon your point of view. <clears throat> Sheridan's right, dear. Martin's not even in the ground yet. Well, it's as good as done. In just a few hours, Martin will be gone from our lives forever. Nothing can stop the funeral now. Oh, please, Luis, make it mercifully short. You can't wait for this to be over, can you? I remember my mother telling me stories about him.